Well, hello, soul family. Beautiful rising, good afternoon, and or lovely evening to you, wherever you are, depending on the location of your rotation. Mm. Thank you for stopping by my channel. This is our daily chakra, chakra energy reading, and today is Friday. Focus indeed. Um, Friday, May 10th of 2024. So happy Friday to all of you. I hope you are all doing so, so very well. All of my readings are intended to be timeless, meaning whenever you have found this video is when you are meant to hear this message. So use your intuition to tune into what that message is for you. All right. So let's give the deck a couple more shuffles and see what our affirmation is for today. So... Yeah, how's everybody been feeling this week? We are in, you know, we just had the new moon, the new moon in Taurus, and so a lot of energy is coming through with that. I still feel like there's like full moon <laughs> energies that are lingering, but <clears throat> yeah. Uh, I kind of feel like this has been an, a very intense Taurus season. So I think it's just been since like the eclipse that the energies have just been speeding up and rotating and yeah, a whole bunch. I feel like we are all stepping into a, our new version, whatever that means and however that means and whatever that looks like, et cetera, et cetera, you know? Oh, Okay. So, we had two cards come out for us. Two cards flip over. We have the auric field of the emotional body, the empty card. So, as this tells me that our emotional body is coming forward to just make itself known to be, you know, for us to pay attention to at this time. So if you find yourself in a lot of emotions or whatever, actually, that is so funny because, yeah, that's one thing that I've noticed is that, like, I can, like, watch something that's, like, nice and just start crying. Like, if there's, like, something that is just cute or whatever, you know, the internet always makes people <laughs> Right, in one way or another, the internet can make people cry. Um, but yeah, I've definitely been feeling a lot in my own emotional body. So um, I feel that we're being guided to pay attention to that. I feel that it is, it's just things that are meant to come up. I don't believe, it doesn't feel like it's things that are... Um, meant to be held on to, but just meant to be experienced. So whatever emotions you find yourself having, just know that they are meant to be experienced and not meant to be held on to or thought too deeply about or anything. Just allow them to come up and to go. So, yeah. So our affirmation to help with our emotional body the auric field of our emotional body comes from the secondary chakras soles of the feet number 121 i let go of the past and turn to the present i let go of the past and turn to the present so yeah letting go of the past is always a great way to let go of emotions and emotional baggage is what i feel too because What's already happened in the past, we cannot change, we cannot go back, we cannot alter it or anything. We already, it's already happened. And so the best thing that we can do is just fully accept that it has happened and that that is the way that things went down and move forward from it. That's the very best thing that we can do for ourselves. And I feel like it's something that we deserve to do for ourselves because nobody deserve, nobody should just be 
in misery for no reason, especially over the things that we cannot control. So, uh, yeah, I, I, felt, I felt a good release there. So, yeah, just know that. So, let's read the meaning. I let go of the past and turn to the present. Meaning, we cannot change the past, but we can change the present. If the past is more important to us than the present, it will always be difficult for us to find our happiness. No matter what you have lost, something even more beautiful is already waiting for you around the next corner. Don't you want to take a look and unwrap the gift? Healing Stone, Aquamarine, Dumortierite, Gerasol, and Bronzite. Fragrance Essence, Ylang Ylang. And the box flower is honeysuckle. So Dumortierite was in the um, was the healing stone for yesterday too, and so that's very interesting because I don't, I can't remember, or at least like right at this moment I don't actually recall any other time that um, the healing stone came out twice, like. You know, the same healing stone came out two days in a row. It's usually always something different. So, um, Dumortierite is one to at least look into this week. So, if you don't have Dumortierite, um, like, what are the odds that I do? <laughs> um, I do. Um, if you don't have it, then just look up, like, the properties to it. Um, okay, let's see. This book has... <laughs> Um, let's see, here we go. Okay, so here we go, look. So, do more to your right, here we go. Melancholy, difficult light phases, ability to enjoy things, fears, negativity, compulsive behavior, nerves, confidence, inner balance, all types of addictions, epilepsy, relaxation, imbalanced effects on all levels. So... Yeah, there, those are the properties of Dumortierite. So, I feel if that is something that you are feeling guided to, like just, you know, reading the characteristics of it, you know, if that's something you feel that you would like to look into, then definitely do it. Um, or you can also just look up a picture of it. So, um, yeah. So, if the past is more important to us than the present, it will always be difficult to find our happiness. So it's about us changing up our view and realizing that, yeah, taking our power back where we can because our power is not in the past. It is right here in the present with us. So we are being guided to Ah, to remember that and to honor it and to honor ourselves and to, um, yeah, bring happiness into our lives the best way that we can. So, wow, this has been our fantastic, fabulous Friday friendly message. <laughs> I hope you all found something that you resonate with and if you did, please remember to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Thank you all so very much for being here. I love you. I appreciate you. And I will see you in the next one.